Hi, welcome back to my channel Pi by Me Maths. This is by Juvas Devan. So we have completed proof by deduction. Now the type 2 is proof by exhaustion. So what we have in our syllabus is just a little area of proof by exhaustion. Basically you will be asked to prove something on a set of numbers, a limited numbers. So you need to prove that for each and every numbers. Probably I will give you a little example. Let's say they want you to prove this x square plus 2x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 for all x belongs to 2, 3, 4. x takes any one of these numbers. I'm just giving you a little example. So instead of thinking about all the proofs, the easy way to prove that is by subbing all the numbers because we have very limited number. Take x is equal to 2. So this is going to be x square plus 2x plus 1 is 2 square plus 2 times 2 plus 1. 4 plus 4, 8 plus 1, 9 is greater than 0. And then take x is 3 and x is equal to 4 and prove it separately. 3 square plus 2 times 3 plus 1. 9 plus 10, 16 is greater than 0. 4 square plus 2 times 4 plus 1, which is 2 fours are 8. 16 plus 8, 24, 25. Write the conclusion state. Therefore, x square plus 2x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. For all x belongs to 2, 3, 4. Hence, proof. So this is proved by exhaustion. You need to prove the statement for each and every case separately. You can do this only when you have a limited number here. Now what if the x is not a set of limited numbers but x belongs to z. You know what z is right? Set of all integers. You should know that. This is set of all whole numbers w. Set of all natural numbers. Natural numbers are the numbers we use in our daily life. If you add zero with it, that's set of all whole numbers. And then z is set of all integers. It can be positive or negative. This is how we write. Zero is also included. And then real numbers. Real numbers basically including all the numbers. We write same as this one. But the difference between the integers and this one, in here there are infinite numbers between these two numbers, all the decimal numbers and everything. So basically all the numbers in the world, except complex and imaginary numbers. So we need to prove this statement for all integers, that's highly impossible, there are infinite numbers, right? So what we can do, we can divide these numbers into two categories, even numbers odd numbers, right? You can divide these numbers into two categories, even and odd. For even numbers will be always in this form and odd numbers will be in this form, 2k plus 1. We discussed this before, right? So sub in here, for these both cases, you need to prove that this statement is positive. So take x square plus 2x plus 1, sub in x by 2k. 2k whole square plus 2 times 2k plus 1. You will get, you can write this as 2k plus 1 whole square. A square of something is always positive, right? So take the negative odd number now. x square plus 2x plus 1 is 2k plus 1 whole square plus 2x 2 times 2k plus 1 plus 1. Open the bracket 4k square plus 4k plus 1. Here 4k plus 2 plus 1. Simplify the like terms and get 4k square plus 8k plus 3 plus 1 4. You can write this as 2k plus 2 whole square. Because a square 2ab plus b square. This is also positive. Okay. You can write 2k plus 1 whole square and 2k plus 2 whole square. 
is greater than or equal to 0. Therefore, write the original statement. This is greater than or equal to 0 for all x belongs to all integers, hence true. Though we have used the thing from proof by deduction here, the thing we discussed from proof by deduction, this is proved by exhaustion because you are proving this for all cases. But here set of all real numbers, there are infinite real, sorry, set of all integers. So instead of taking all the integers, we divide them into two categories and we prove this. That's proved by exhaustion. So I have taken a question from your specimen paper, question number 4. n square proves that n square plus 1 is not a multiple of 4 or divisible by 4 for all n belongs to set of all natural numbers. So there are infinite numbers here. So to prove this, to prove that this is not divisible by 4, we are going to divide this into two categories, even number and odd number. Even number is 2k, odd number can be written as 2k plus 1. Sub in here and check whether it's divisible by 4 or not. When I sub in 2k here, n is equal to 2k. So n square plus 2 is 2k whole square plus 2. So I got 4k square plus 2. Remember we discussed this for multiple of 3. If you want to prove something is not a multiple of 3, you can write it in this form, right? So you will have remainder 1 or 2, so it's not a multiple of 3. So for 4, if you can write this in this form, plus 2 or plus 3, it can be remainder 3 also, it can't be 4. If it's plus 4, that's automatically divisible by 4. If you can write it in any one of this form, that's not divisible by 4. So 4 times something plus 2, therefore, n square plus 2 is not divisible by 4, divisible by 4 for all, for all even numbers for all even numbers. Now take the odd number n is equal to 2k plus 1. So n square plus 2 is 2k plus 1 whole square plus 2 expanded 8 plus b whole square a square plus 2ab plus b square. You can take 4 from these two terms you get k square plus k plus uh, this is 2. 2 plus 1 plus 3. 4 times something plus 3. Again write this statement. So you can finally write therefore the conclusion steps. n square plus 2 is not divisible by 4 for all n belongs to the set of all natural numbers. So remember this when they say mostly for proof by exhaustion they will mention here even this question also it's mentioned there. So when they say prove by exhaustion, you have to prove that for each and every case given. When you have limited number, sub in the limited number here. When you have set of all real numbers, natural numbers and all, divide them into two categories, even and odd, and prove the statement for each case separately. This is what prove by exhaustion is. So another past paper question from June 2021, question number three. We need to prove that pq plus p is a multiple of 10 for all single digit prime numbers. In the question, it's not mentioned you use proof by exhaustion, but it's it states clearly for all single digit prime numbers. What are the single digit prime numbers? 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 9. These are all the single digit prime numbers, right? So you have very limited numbers, so you should know that it's proved by exhaustion. So you sum in the numbers one by one here. When p is 2, pq plus p is 2q plus 2, which is 10, a multiple of 10. So you need to prove this for each and every case separately. Here, pq plus p Three Q plus three, which is twenty-seven plus three, thirty. Five Q plus five. Five cube is one twenty-five plus five, one thirty. Seven Q plus seven. Seven cube is forty-nine times seven, which is three forty-three. Two eighty plus sixty-three. Three forty-three plus seven. Three fifty. 
all these numbers are multiple of 10. You need to write 10, 30, 130, 350 or all multiple of 10. Therefore, write the original statement PQ plus P is a multiple of 10 for all single digit prime numbers and then write hence proved. So that's how you apply proof by exhaustion. Now this past paper question January 2020 question 10 is a slightly different you say when you read the question they mentioned there already prove by exhaustion prove that 2 n square plus 1 is not divisible by 3 for all integers. So what I told you when you see a infinite numbers you need to divide them into two categories. Let's say you divide them into even and odd and sub in here you are not going to prove that it's not divisible by 3 because to prove it's not divisible by 3 you need to write the expression into any one of this form. So you sub in even number that means 2k or 2k plus 1 here you cannot prove that and apparently we cannot prove this for each and every number right. So you have to divide this integers into certain categories. So the student's start of the proof is given. The student has taken n is equal to 3k and proved it already. So what are the other cases here? How can you divide this set of all integers into few categories where the first one is a multiple of 3? So you, what are the other two categories? Not a multiple of 3. 3k plus 1, 3k plus 2. That's it, right? So you can divide all the integers into these three categories. The proof for the first category, first case is given. You need to prove it for these two cases now. So replace n by 3k plus 1 here and 3k plus 2 here. Write it in this form, any one of this form. So when I put n is equal to 3k plus 1, 2n square plus n plus 1 is 2 times 3k plus 1 whole square plus n plus 1. Expand the bracket a square 9k square so 18k square 2ab which is 6k times 2 12k plus 1 square is 1 times 2 plus 3k plus 2. I can write this as 18k square plus 15k plus 2 plus 2 4 I am going to write it as 3 plus 1. Why I am writing 4 as this way? So that I can take 3 as a common factor here, 6k square plus 5k plus 1 and I will have plus 1, 3 times something plus 1 is not divisible by 3. So you need to write therefore 2n square plus n plus 1 is not divisible by 3 when n is equal to 3k plus 1. Prove that for 3k plus 2 now. 2n square plus n plus 1 is 2 times 3k plus 2 whole square plus 3k plus 2 plus 1. Open the bracket. a plus b whole square 9k square times 2 18k square 6 12k 24k 2 square is 4 4 2 is 8 plus 3k plus 3. So it's 18k square plus 27k 8 plus 3 is 11. I'm going to write it as 9 plus 2. So that I can take 3 as a common factor from the first 3 terms, 6k square and 9k plus 3 plus 2. 3 times something plus 2 is not divisible. So now you need to write the conclusion steps. You need to write therefore 2n square plus n plus 1 is not divisible by 3 for all n belongs to z. Hence proved.